school. Let's be honest, we're often bored at school and the thought, when will this all be over, constantly comes up. What if you were offered to study happiness or surfing or how to punch someone back correctly? Too good to be true? Well, in some countries, you can find these subjects in school curriculums. Of course, not instead of everyone's favorite subject, math, but only in as a complement to the basic subjects. Let's get a little jealous and take a look at where the most unusual subjects in the world are taught. Germany, the study of happiness. In the German city of Heidelberg, the headmaster of one local school spent long nights wondering what subject he would like to teach his students. He realized that no school in the world studies happiness and that many children are unhappy while studying. It's going to be a great course, he thought, and stress-free, there won't be any exams since the goal is happiness. So in 2007, he began to teach his students harmony, how to find it within and in surroundings as well as reducing conflict and anguish. Since there were no exams, by the end of the course, he had students create their own project in the form of a charity event, a social video, or anything else they could think of. They were limited only by their imagination. Spain, the study of emotional education. If anyone knows figuring out relationships, it's the Spaniards, so it's very convenient for them to have an emotional education subject at school. How to control anger and react to abuse. How to recognize the mood of the person you're speaking to and understand when you're being manipulated are some of the few things that children in Spain are taught. The schools that teach this subject are much more pleasant to be in. Students are friendlier and understand one another better. Israel, the study of cybersecurity. Lion's share of our spare time we spend on the internet, and Israeli children are no exception. In order to protect internet dependent school children, Israel introduced a cybersecurity subject, which is far from just installing an antivirus program on your phone. For example, teachers explain how to recognize a gaming disorder and how it's dangerous for your health or which sites to avoid in order to stay out of trouble. The title of the subject is awesome too. Theory and Practice of Cyber Warfare. I would have taken that subject for just the title. <music> USA, the study of scientific discovery. Do you want to find good scientists? Make them. Somebody thought in the United States and decided to include a scientific discovery subject in the school curriculum. First, of course, one has to work a little to figure out the patterns, how these very discoveries are made, but then everything learned will have to be used and this is where the interesting stuff happens. By the end of the school year, students will have to present their discoveries. There are no restrictions. It all depends on the limits of your imagination and sense of humor. For example, a charger that can charge your phone's battery in 20 seconds, or an aroma alarm clock that gives off the smell of fried chicken in the morning. What? For some people, it works. I wouldn't be surprised if someone once even invented a way for gum to be removed from clothes, but gum manufacturers took the young inventor prisoner and covered it all up. France, the study of Sinology. Anyone ever think, what if I got a dog? And then immediately started thinking, what if the dog's stupid? What if the dog won't listen to me? Only eat my slippers and poop on the carpet? These French students don't have to worry about that at all. They have an entire course that they attend with their furry friends to teach him commands and establish rapport. The management of schools which have dog training lessons considers it a great way to develop responsibility, leadership skills, and instill a love for animals. And this isn't done in vain, because in France, the number of pets is equal to the population. So what do those people who have a dog that's already well behaved do? Get a new one? Australia, the study of surfing. Some spend loads of cash taking vacations at a certain time of year to surf and spend time on the waves. 
For others, it's just a PE class. It's the most common PE class that happens on the ocean side. Does that sound too good to be true? For Australians living in coastal regions, it's really common. From November to April, they spend their gym classes by the sea instead of a school gym or stadium. Surfing is more of a lifestyle than a sport for them. Kids first learn how to surf before learning to walk. Surfing is a really good way to train all the muscle groups, learn balance, and feel good. The Netherlands – The Study of Sexual Education the Netherlands is an open country in every respect, so controversial topics like sexual education are taught from the age of four. It's hard to imagine, but even 11-year-olds freely talk about their sexual orientation and contraceptive rules with the teacher right in the middle of class. The teachers themselves are often non-standard. They're chosen in order to promote tolerance toward minorities and give students the opportunity to be open about non-traditional sexual orientations. The lessons are really useful. When you're able to discuss relationships from an early age, the beginning of early sexual life, the consequences of alcohol and drugs, these topics become far from taboo and you're not influenced to make bad decisions by trying things out. Often during the class, free birth control remedies are given out. You're also taught how to draw your boundaries and how to react under provocation and pressure from friends and classmates. Probably it's one of the few countries where kids aren't found in cabbage patches, where they don't come from storks, and where they're not bought in stores. North Korea – Public Executions was your teacher too strict today? Got angry at you and filled up the remarks page in your journal? Or maybe it's forbidden to come to school with an unusual haircut, colored hair, piercings, or tattoos. Thank God you weren't born in North Korea. Otherwise, you would choose one of 15 haircuts and wouldn't think of hair dyeing because individuality and disobedience are punishable in this country. And so as not to be tempted to go against the system, Students from the age of 12 are sent on field trips to witness public executions. The school may even decide to cancel class for this extracurricular activity. Would you like to see that instead of class? Write about it in the comments. 